Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Remix project and to find the default icon sprite that is in each one of these projects in the studio. So let's take a look at this Remix project. All right, so inside of this project, when you click see inside, you would send this project to kids and you would ask them to click right here and this will give them some blocks to work with. Now, this will be like, okay, if I click on this flag or click on this sprite, I want to make it so that it jumps. Cool. But what if I wanted to jump three times? Cool. So they can experiment with this. But what if I wanted to jump three times and then I wanted to, I don't know, turn right and then jump again? Okay. Well, to do that, we need to actually add more blocks. So what you want to do is show kids that with this sprite and only this sprite, if you go all the way to the bottom right here, my blocks, there are more. So we can add in another jump. Now, the cool thing about these icons is I actually made it so that even if kids don't put anything in here, it will still work. So even if this is null or nothing, it will still make it so that the code works. And you can actually make it so that you can jump up or you can even jump down by taking away from the number. Okay. So these icons are extremely helpful and this would be great for kids who are pre-readers or early readers because it has the icons right here and the words next to it. So we've got our up arrow and move up, our left arrow and move left. And so again, you would want kids to drag in the blocks that they want to use here and then change the number. Now, if they don't like the sprite that's on here, what they would do is go into the costume of this and simply go down to the very bottom here and choose a new costume. So maybe they want a different animal. So maybe they want a little chick. And when they click on that, cool. Now the code is going to make us so that when we click on the chick, it's going to jump three times and then turn to the right one time. Okay. So this is a really easy way to make it so that kids can use the icons that I mentioned in the previous video. Okay. Now, if we want to make it so that there are more sprites, you're going to want to right click and duplicate. And then again, change it to a different costume. So maybe we want to have a bouncing basketball instead of a chick. Okay, so now we have our bouncing ball. Cool. So the only thing that you'll need to do is show kids how to get to this project. So you want to share this link, like maybe put it on your class web page or in your LMS. And then have them, if you want to have them remix if they're signed in. Otherwise, just open it and then they can change the code that's inside of here by adding in this stuff or right clicking and duplicating this. Okay, now let's talk about how you can actually do this with each one of the example projects. So if you click see inside on the example projects that I've created, at the very bottom, right after the thumbnail, there's always this default sprite that has the icon code. So again, this is the code that's in that project that I just showed you the remix one. The only thing is this sprite is not showing. So you have to simply show and then we can actually see our sprite right here. So if you ever wanted to add your own code to this, you could simply have it so that you have the default sprite and you just duplicate and you can change the costume. Now, if you are signed in, you can also actually save this into your backpack. So if you are creating a project and you wanna have the same icons for the kids that you work with, all you have to do is grab this icon default sprite and drag it into your backpack. And then it's right here. So you can create a new project and then if you want to bring that sprite in with the default code with the icons, you simply drag it into here, you click on this, and then there's your code right there. Now remember, make sure the kids don't scroll down and see this stuff. If they start changing these numbers, it's going to mess things up. And yes, there is a reason why that these are all right here. So ignore that mess. Just click here. Cool. And then kids can code in this area. Okay. So that's how you can use the Remix project and how you can use the icon default sprite either in the example projects or using your backpack. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.